Okay, we are in the third tutorial on our series of CIP or clean in place. In the first two, we created some tags. Now we're going to go ahead and create some logic. Uh, so I open up my program. I have a rung here. You can see you can go through and find the areas of instructions you need, little tag things. The first thing I'm going to do is put a JSR instruction on here or a jump to subroutine. I'll zoom in here so you can see it a little better. And you notice when you bring this in, it puts input parameters and return parameters. I don't, I don't need those, so I'm going to remove them. And I actually have to create a routine here that we can jump to. So I'll create new routine and I'll give it a name. It's going to be tank one CIP. And it's going to be a ladder diagram. It's going to be in the tank one CIP program. So there it is. Now it'll show up in the drop down. Uh, now we'll go ahead and jump to the tank one CIP subroutine. Now open that up, pops a, populates a rung there automatically. I'm going to put a sequencer output instruction on there. Zoom in so you can see that a little better. Um, and now it's just time to start entering the data. We already created the tags. So tank one control is our control length. I'll just put 10 in there for now. We can change that if we need to. Our array, we created that. It's tank one output array. Now we'll go ahead and drop our mask in here. Again, it's under tank one mask. And then our destination will be the tank one dot output. So you go in, expand tank one, find the output. I noticed I put, I spelt that wrong, but oh well. So there you go. We have our sequencer output instruction. Pretty simple, right? With all our members in place, there's no errors you can see on the left.